Hi Libra, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of January 31st to the 6th of February, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And keep in mind, this is a general weekly read, so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. Do remember to stick with me till the very end of the reading to get an answer to your yes or no question. Before we mention the overall uh, message I received for your reading, or I should say for our reading, I was getting into the Libran energy and I was cleansing my energy all the meanwhile. And I was looking into the camera and I started posing. And I even at one point put my chin up in the air at the end and it was just... I feel as if you're going to be very showy this week, and you're going to enjoy yourself on so many occasions. Now, that makes sense with the overall message of one enjoyment after another. One enjoyment after another. Beautiful. And the song chosen for you on Shuffle, or for us again, Live It Up, featuring Pitbull by Jennifer Lopez. Such an energetic song. I'll leave that down below in the description box. Let's aim one down and pull some cards. All righty, let me just aim this down a little bit more. We're going to begin by pulling a message or two from the Elemental Oracle deck in overall focus for the week, if you will. I just heard, wow, just wow. For my lovely Librans to begin this weekly read for the 31st of January to the 6th of February, 2022. Joy, music coming out. So you're definitely going to find that music plays a key role in your week on multiple occasions. A push to dance, a push to sing, to get your voice out there, to discover new music. But to just understand that this is a week that reminds you that joy and happiness is just a part of your situation moving forward. And I feel like you bring a level of excitement or just pleasant energy to a situation, even if you don't think so. Um, an underlining focus on adventure, you could feel a little bit impatient at certain points. Um, a push to be brave when it comes to certain adventures you know lie on the horizon. To thrive, uh, or rather to um, dig for that drive to go on adventures. I feel like some of you will find that part of the enjoyment of the week will be going on little adventures from time to time throughout the week, even if it's just going and exploring the same neighborhood you've been living in or the same city or just um, trying to think about going somewhere new, new experiences, feeling like things maybe have been getting a little bit stale recently and it's time to shake it up a bit, all right? It's definitely going to be a fun week for us. As I had to take a moment due to background noise and just to catch my breath, I recommend doing the same this week if need be. I was drawn to this part of the image here uh, where I heard, I just need to break free, I just need to let loose. There's going to be a feeling that you've been very restricted or boxed in recently, and it's time to do things differently or just experience once again. Um, a feeling that you're making the best out of a situation, even if it doesn't feel like you're going to as you make your way into this uh, week, beginning it. Uh, you could be feeling like things have been a bit robotic once again, all right? Same kind of message to things been feeling a bit stale, or you might feel like you've been sticking to a schedule so much that it's a bit robotic. Let's pull the main part of the reading from the Gilded deck. For my lovely Librans to continue this weekly read. Flopping out, we have the Ace of Cups. It's a week where in the center of your reading, things are abundant. Your eye is opening to how much you're meant to enjoy your life. How even when things don't feel complete or just perfect for you, where you know there's huge changes on the horizon that need to happen to make things more ideal for you. You're one who just makes the best, even when you're not at the best, right? You're one who teaches people to just be authentically themselves and how enjoyable that can be. The vibrancy that's going to come about you this week, if you feel like you haven't been that way recently, is going to be amazing. It's going to be inspirational to others. You're going to find that your strut down the street is just uh, jaw-dropping. People looking at you. People just noticing you. Small uh, small issues with your body, uh, it's spirit, okay? They're just having fun. You're going to be attracting different spirits, different energies to you this week than you're used to. 
some who are just it's just different energy more fun more creative but a level of spiritual messing with for some of you all right so that means i'll be dealing with that with the ten of pentacles the main focus this week is you feeling abundant but also being pushed to understand that financial security is meant to be in your situation moving forward i feel as if you'll stumble upon something that makes you feel so damn abundant i'm getting treasure hunt you being pushed to view the week as a, an adventure something that is like uh, a treasure hunt where you're looking for what would make you feel successful happy more joyful uh, abundant okay bear with me as i do um dislike the energy in the air here where i'm filming but you could also feel that way about your job location your home or if you work from home like i do it could be difficult for you you will find that certain people in your midst are not to be trusted period um not every week can be perfect not every reading can be super upbeat and positive but it's just a, a small forewarning or reminder from spirit in the universe in the midst of a very positive week for you i just if you could see my face i was just shaking my head back and forth like a level of disappointment in certain people energies a situation that is just not right for you all right a very five of pentacles vibe with the page of pentacles you again could be feeling a bit impatient trying to take a fresh perspective on what you're presenting what you're developing creating and feeling like you don't have a choice but to do just that but at times feeling like a situation doesn't give you the ability to show off enough to be authentically you you feel more advanced than certain energies around you throughout the week or in one situation it's just like ugh, either get on my level or just ugh, i gotta figure out how to move on right um feeling wise beyond your years throughout this week feeling like once again it's a week where there's one enjoyment after the freaking next and at times feeling a bit serious as i pull the king of wands a bit um overly focused or just it has a lot to do with what you're passionate about right or the energies you're picking up on somebody in your energy in your midst throughout the week at certain points needs to take a deep breath it's going to put you on edge and that pushes you to break free to go towards something else you're going to get a push to leave a situation for a lot of you it's your home life it could be your, your job even if it's just a temporary walk away to come back there's going to be something to learn an adventure you go on something to stumble upon that feels quite abundant a reminder that you need to travel escape with music okay utilize that as an escape in a lot of ways with the wheel of fortune it's a week where you're reminded this is all beautiful energy by the way for the most part you're reminded that the wheel is turning for you things are changing behind the scenes on spirit's behalf ah <sighs> take a deep breath don't be afraid to take that moment or don't feel guilty for taking a moment to breathe or to separate yourself to take a moment to look at the moon the stars the the galaxy if you will and just feel connected you know remind yourself that you are you have a lot to offer that you're this uh, powerhouse that keeps coming up these days in these readings but you are you're so damn strong you're about to give birth to a lot of new situations a lot of new adventures stuff that's going to bring you a lot of enjoyment and again it's a week that reminds you of just that a reminder that what you do for work is going to be successful and if you don't feel that way intuitively because you know your situation the best what you move to next will be all right take it day by day because it's a week where you're reminded that your story is not complete it's not nearly uh, you're not where you're meant to be i feel the need to say for a lot of you there's just uh, some are but there's just a lot of movement and changes and adjustments that will happen moving forward that will help things fall into place a lot easier all right and a reminder that you deserve the best all right and i do sorry if i keep saying all right you're going to find yourself noticing certain words that you say too often this week but you're also going to need to look up the um spiritual meaning of a dragonfly there's a message for you um i'm hearing some of you already know what that symbolizes for you as well a butterfly will come in handy or just signify something important to you or you'll remember what it once meant um if it ties into a certain energy or situation in your life from the past <sighs> i'm a libra and that's a beautiful thing i'm a libra i'm regaining faith in who i am who i'm becoming and just owning it as i move through the week even if at times i don't have it all figured out 
even if at times I'm not perfect and I lose it, or I make a mistake here and there, who the fuck doesn't? Wow, excuse my language. When you feel the need to swear, it's going to be a push from the universe, from spirit, to let loose a little bit, right? When you feel the need to dance, the inclination to do it, the release you'll get will feel so good, you know? Uh, a lot of you needing to maintain a workout routine or just get it going again or start to. Uh, needing to get out with that uh, excess energy or just frustration that at times can build up with the Queen of Swords. It, there's going to be one point in the week where you feel quite feisty and it's purposeful. There's something to learn about yourself or how other energies affect you or how a situation isn't healthy even if it seems like it at times with a star card. You're reminded as well, you do have a lot of healing that you still need to go through moving forward, but it can't happen in a situation to the furthest extent, okay, that you have in your life at this time. You also will be reminded to shine from within and do what you can to maintain that shine, to maintain that level of joy and enjoyment in general that you're experiencing uh, time after time after time throughout this week, even if in between those there's an annoyance or a difficulty, or an energy that's just a lot to handle, okay? It's a week where you feel bold, you feel a bit over serious at times, and that's why you're pushed to enjoy yourself and go on adventures. You're reminded that your world is freaking changing, and your money's about to stabilize in ways that you have no idea. Um, a horrible wording, but it almost feels like you don't need to word things perfectly for the point to get across in certain conversations or in work that you're developing. People get you, but they don't. And that's a beautiful thing. It's this mystery of life and of certain connections and where you are that will feel right at this point uh, in your path, uh, along your path, in your story. You'll find that longing for more is this push, this drive to upgrade, to move to the new, to not settle. But with the devil, you will feel a bit overworked at times, or you'll find that certain people um, are pushing you to overthink. Don't let it get the best of you, right? As you will be presenting a lot of important creations this week, developments, and be keeping a lot on the down low purposely. Some things aren't going to work out exactly how you envision it moving forward, but that's also purposeful to just go with the flow and adapt and to dance your way through the changes and adjustments that you know are going to take place and that just come to be, all right? Uh, dance with life. With the Six of Swords, a preparation to get away from a situation that's no longer going to work for you moving forward as you feel the need to rant very quickly, as you feel the need to communicate, but in a very honest way, a very sort of, I'll communicate this, but I'm going to hold back from saying this. Trying to be strategic in a lot of ways, you're going to find that especially at the end of the week, things move quite quickly. When you want it to slow down, things move quickly. Something you've been working on is progressing very, very rapidly. And you deserve all of the efforts that are now paying off, all the rewards. As you're reminded, completion's a must. Completion's a beautiful thing. And you are the sun in a situation. Your light shines so bright that people almost get blinded. But if they do, they deserve it. The people who benefit from your light, your growth and your development and all the work you produce, they are getting their sense of good karma. And I feel like you're getting a taste of your own good karma throughout this week. All right? You're reminded that you deserve to go the distance, all right? As it is a week, once again, where you're um, wrapped up in one enjoyment after another. Wow. Let's answer your question. So take a moment if you haven't uh, thought of it. For Libra. The answer for your question, Libra, is yes. You got a yes. All right. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. To book a personal reading, you'll see the options down below. Um, just reach out via email. I'm hearing mention more than appreciate your donations in advance. Uh, the link is down below. Uh, hoping you have the most amazing week. Sending you so much love and light. And I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Libra.